3. Good morning. Now we have a uh, new equation about how to, um, uh, how to uh, put, how to add different figures, different numbers together. Now we're going to start our class from 319 topic 5 for in your uh, student book. Now let's overview the problem first in order to find the numbers in the equation. It's about pet. Pat has cards of favorite athletes. He has eight baseball cards, two football cards, and three baseball cards. How many cards did Pat have in all? First thing to do before we write the equation here is to pay attention to different vocabularies. This pay attention to in all. In all means all together. Right, and this is very suitable when we add uh, um, an addition equation, and also uh, we have the word how many, and when we say how many, we need the number, we good, and after that, and finally, we should pay attention to the numbers. We have eight, we have two, and we have also three. So we have eight, we have two. We have three, and what does he want? He wants them in all, right? So our equation would be like that. It should include plus, and plus, and plus, and in the end, it should include equals. Here is, we put a number, and here is, we put a number, and here is, we put another number. And there, all together, will be here. All together, will be here. Now, it's your option, it's up to you to put any number here. You can put it here, you can put it here, you can put it there. Let's start with 2. So, we got 2 here. So, don't put it again, don't repeat it. We have 8, so let's put 8 here. So, don't select it again. And we have 3, let's put 3 here. Right? So, we want to accumulate them together, put them together. So then put it in your brain here you put it here so it is here after it we have then add 2 so 8 9 and 10 so they are 10 now so they are 10 now and after 10 we need to add a 3 what's after that there are 10 here so after 10 we have 10 after 10 we have 11 and 12 and 13 so it will be 13 here so our equation will be like that 2 and 8 and 3 all together equal 13 thank you very much for this I hope that you got much benefit here 3 uh, hello everyone today we have a very important lesson from grade 1 uh, how to uh, add 3 numbers together the two closer numbers and one further number. Uh, let's have this problem. Uh, it says circle two numbers to add first in these two numbers. Then after that, write the sum in the box here and also here. Let's start with the first problem here. It says six plus six plus one. So it's difficult for each one of you to look at the three numbers together. Because you need first to look at two numbers together, but which, which two numbers you should look together? Select any two numbers, but they are closer, for example, closer in position. If I say six and six, they are difficult for you because six and six, the total will be very large. So, so you need to look at six, look at six plus one here. You need to look at these two numbers, right? And instead of looking at 6 plus 6, if I say 6, if I say 6, it's okay. So make 6 in your finger like that. Then if I ask you to add another one, for example, like that, you will say that they are 7. Very good. So write 7 here. So I have now 7 here, and I have still have 6 here. If I say I have 6 with me, then you count on to get... You can turn yours in six more. So you'll say that I have 13. Now, did you know that? 13. 
you have, um, for example, the make 10 strategy. It's like that. For example, make 10 strategy, it's like that. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's like that. So put 7 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have 7 here, right? So you put 7 here. Uh, still you have to add 6 here also. So but in this case you need to add the six scanners using different color, for example like the blue one. So I need to add 6 more here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want you to put the total here. So I said there are 13, so let's double check that there are 13 or not. Let's come from the beginning. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, and 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 13. So put yourself a very big right check here for the problem. So I want you to do this problem the same way I did this one. Uh, you have three closer number, uh, uh, two closer number. Uh, what, what are they? Uh, three, and 7, and 8. Which closer number, which, which, which number are closer here? Uh, it's better for you to choose this one because the total will be smaller if you look at 7 and 8, it, the total will be very large. So if I ask you to put 7 in your mind and add just 3, you'll say that, oh, I get, I get 10 here. So I have 10 here. Uh, remember, you need to uh, shift 8 here. So and instead of having 3 numbers, this and this and this. Now, now you have you have only two numbers. You have ten, and you have eight here. Uh, do you want to make the to use the make ten strategy or use the number line? Number can take you also to the problem. That so this time let's find that the let's find the the sum using the number line uh, and say that zero. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, 8 and 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 and 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 here. So we have 18 here, right? So. Uh, which one, where, where, you choose, where, where do you choose to start, from the 10 or from the 8? I, uh, if you want to accept my suggestion, I recommend that you choose with the bigger number here. You choose from 10 by putting the, uh, the circle here. And you need to uh, jump, you need to jump 8 halves here, eight, because you have 8 here. So jump 8 halves, 1 and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. When you jumped, when you finished, you reached 18. So 18 would be your answer here, so 18. So here, let's summarize what I said. When we have two, three numbers, better to focus on two numbers and write the total together, uh, then add the third number here, and you can use a strategy like a make 10 strategy here to find the answer. For the second problem, I also focus on two digits together and I wrote the total here, then I used the total, the number, the third number, and put them together. But this, in this case, I could use the make 10 strategy, but I want to give you something else, the number line. The number line also something very better, very good to take you to the sum very easily. But you should start with the bigger number. Uh, it's, it's, this is my suggestion, which I also, I, I'm also doing this when I'm doing these problems. Thank you very much. Three. Uh, hello everyone, today we have another new uh, word problems bear with addition. Uh, uh, next video, we're going to have another subtraction word problem. But today, it says, Alan picks up three toys, then he picks up eight more. How many toys did Alan pick up in all? This word problem is um, very appropriate for grade one 
uh, studying math uh, uh, for the first year uh, in order to find uh, or to um, go through this problem very easily you need first to concentrate on the most important vocabulary here which of course are repeated uh, for a more word problems the first word is how many and it's repeated a lot and a lot the second word is in all and the third word is more uh, when I say how many I want the number when I say more I mean that I added I added something else to something before when I say in all I, I want everything to go right and one last thing before you start putting your number here is first to define your number here and fix your numbers uh, you have three here it's fine use a different color you have three here and you have eight here and it's up to you to put three here or eight here or vice versa uh, let's find eight here and let's find three here I want the total to be put here I don't, I don't, I don't know what the sum of three and eight what is the total here I don't know so uh, you have to think about a different or some, something easy for you a strategy to find the sum here uh, one strategy that I can suggest for you is uh, the strategy of uh, the uh, make 10 strategy here uh, make 10 strategy we always do like this the table uh, which include which include five cells or five columns one and two and three and four and the fifth column is here and in the line in between here then you have to put if you want to put 3 in a problem, if you want to put 8, but I suggest that you always start with the bigger number. You always put here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you finish with 8 here. Remaining the 3, use a different color always to put the second digit. 1 and 2, and the 3 will be here. If you want them in all, then you have to look at the uh, make 10 strategy of Raymond all as well and count everything so from 1 and end in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so if you want to s uh, hello today you are going to have to uh, solve a problem or equation with different three different figures uh, like this in this uh, problem uh, it says, Pat has cards of favorite athletes. He has eight baseball cards, football cards, three football cards, and two baseball cards. How many cards did Pat have in all? First attention to do is to pay attention to the digits here on that problem. We have, for example, we have three here. And we have eight here, and we have two here. So, what does he want? Ask yourself. He wants them in all. He wants them together. He wants to add the three numbers. So, how did I know that? Because I have in all. And in all means all together. And what else? Pay attention to this word, because as students for uh, studying in their first grade, then need to know uh, some vocabulary like how many. So when I say how many cards, so I mean that that we uh, look at all the cards together and put it here in the problem. For example, you start with the uh, the closer numbers together, which is which are closer here. I have two and three and eight. Which two numbers are closer together? Closer. So uh, I think there are two, and I think there are three, and the last number should be eight. It is here. Yeah. In order to make your problem simpler and easier, you need to look at these together and look at separately. If I say, if I ask you, two and three, two, I have two here, and I have three here, uh, two and three, you will say that they are five, so, and instead of saying two and three, you can say five here, and also five plus remaining the eight. So 5 plus 8 is equals what? Some of you that say that they are 13. So they are right. 
you arrive. How did you know that? You, you can you can put here in the number and the ten a strategy, the ten the make ten strategy or the number line in order to get thirteen, right? But this is at least takes you to the sum here very easily here uh, because you put the closer number together. Thank you very much.